am Misty Callahan with ChicagolandSportsRadio.com, and I am here at Glacier Ice Arena where the number one Vernon Hills Capitals are about to take on the number seven Brookfield Battalion. The last time these two teams met on February 18th, the battalion were able to force a shootout in spite of the capital's depth. Now, will that outcome be repeated tonight? Only time will tell, but let's find a couple of the players on the teams and see what they have to say about it. Come on with me now. I was able to locate Dale Mashansky of the Vernon Hills Capitals. Dale, the last time you boys faced the battalion, they were able to force a shootout. What did you learn about Brookfield from that game? Very good defensively, good goaltending. Uh, we just got to keep the, keep the pressure on them, eliminate their chances, and uh, come out with a W. I was able to catch up with Kyle Silver, one of the captains of the Brookfield Battalion. Kyle, the last time you faced the Capitals, you were able to force a shootout in spite of their depth. Did you guys gain any confidence from that? Definitely, yes. Uh, anytime we can go up against the top team in the league and uh, take them to a shootout, you know, it's... It, Probably was uh, one of the most confidence-inspiring games we've played this year, I would say. I was able to tackle Danny Codd, one of our backup goalies here over in Vernon Hills. Danny, it is crunch time with the GLHL regular season. Fondy's only two points behind you guys. Is that something you think about going into tonight's game? Um, we definitely do take a look at it. But uh, as a team, we like to take it one game at a time, and that's where it starts tonight. Uh, we try not to let it bother us, but in the back of our heads, we do. Um, we got a game in hand against them. Uh, however, they got a tough schedule coming up, and ours is not so tough. But our season right now is in our own hands, and we just got to execute it. There seems to be a bit of juggling as far as your third line is concerned. Do you want to talk a little bit about that for the Capitals fans? Yeah, not a problem. It, uh, we're, we're mixing some stuff up. We're trying to find that good focal point where uh, tonight we're going to head have uh, Dom and Rob Belvey, the two brothers, just trying to center those guys around them. And uh, hopefully good, good news comes from it. Now currently your boys are on a three-game losing streak. How important is it to pull out a win tonight? Um, it's incredibly important. We are fighting for our playoff lives. Um, if we lose tonight, we can still make the playoffs, but it's going to be much tougher. A uh, win tonight would put us in a much stronger position. Um, even if we do win, some other teams have to lose for us to make it in. So we're not in control of our own destiny, but winning would certainly go a long way. Taylor Payne is going to be missing from tonight's lineup due to a lower body injury. He is fourth on the team in points. What does his absence mean to the Capitals tonight? Uh, like you said, being uh, fourth on the team in points, T. Payne, he, uh, he knows how to score goals. That's, that's why we brought him on the team. That's why he's here. Uh, he's definitely going to be missed. However, we, uh, we got a real depth team, and uh, hopefully we got no trouble scoring goals. Last time you faced the Capitals, you guys were out a few key players. You got a few of them back tonight. How important is that to you? It's huge. Um, you know, in this league, uh, one or two good players can make, make a huge difference. And uh, we're, we're pretty happy with the guys we have going tonight. So we're, uh, we're ready to go. What are you expecting from the Capitals tonight? Um, I think we kind of caught them by surprise up in our barn. Uh, when we played them last month, uh, I don't think they were expecting us to uh, put that showing on the ice as we did. Uh, looking at our record, I, I can't blame them. So I think once they saw that you know we could hang with them, um, uh, you know they started to adjust near the end of the game, and I expect a much a much more prepared uh, Capitals team tonight. The guys from both the Capitals and the Battalion are suited and booted, and they're ready to hit the ice for warm-ups. I hope you enjoyed those interviews, but we have a game to catch. Catch all the Vernon Hills Capitals home games on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. If you want to know more about yours truly, just hit me up on Twitter, at Misty A. Callahan. Let's go check out a hockey game, guys.